Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a special Canada's Got Talent edition of the Jake's Take with Jacob Elishar podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Elishar, chief content producer and writer at jakesake.com, a pop culture entertainment news website. If you're watching us on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and please give us a fu- and please subscribe. If you're listening to this on our audio platforms, download this episode and more episodes as well. I'm very excited because this is my first Canada's Got Talent inter- Act interview of 2024. And I have a great one for you guys. He is a singer from Newfoundland. And his rendition of Who Wants to Live Forever gave me chills, received four yeses, and an entire singing ovation from all four judges and the entire studio audience. So please help me welcome Matthew Cooper to the podcast. Hi, everyone. Matthew, thank you so much. It's a privilege to talk with you. Thank you so much for taking time in your schedule to talk with me today. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I'm happy to be here. All right. So, Matthew, I wanted, I would love to talk to you about your origin story. So, when did you get interested in singing? And how did that passion evolve into desire to pursue a career in the music industry? So, I, I started singing. And I, I can't remember this. I was too young to remember. But my parents said when I was around four years old, like, my babysitter would take me out and we'd just start singing and she'd play Gwen Stefani and early 2000s music and I'd just be jamming out in the back singing and having a great time. But I didn't start voice lessons until I was about 11 years old. And uh, I started then, I just grew the passion even deeper for music and singing. I loved it. And opera was introduced to me at 13 and I've been a diehard opera fan ever since. Uh, but this passion that I had evolved into wanting to be in the music industry because I want to help people the way music has helped me. So I went through hardships in my life and music got me through it, my family and music. And uh, I want to do the same for people. That's incredible. I'm so glad to hear those reasons. And also, when I was watching your audition, I was uh, I was delighted to hear that you were, grew up playing reality TV competition shows with your friends and family. So yeah. how did that help you prepare for the CGT experience? You know, it, having that experience with my friends, they're just talking to me and telling me like, okay, Matthew, like you need to do something with this. They, they thought I was really great. And at the time I didn't see it. I was just doing it for fun because that's what we wanted to do. And uh, I took the courage then to take that step and go into voice lessons and start preparing for the day that I would audition. And why did you decide that the million dollar season was the season to audition for CGT? Well, this is a funny story. Uh, I call it fate. Um, I was actually going to audition last year. But things just weren't in the right place for me. I I didn't think I was going to be able to do it if I did get picked to audition. So I said, okay, there's always next year. And sure enough, I auditioned for this season and I got through to the auditions. And that audition, I got to tell you, everybody, um, I mean, I told Matthew this before we went on, before we recorded, but now I'm going to tell you guys once again. Hit your Matthew's audition of Who Wants to Live Forever is probably one of the best male auditions for singers so far this decade. I'm talking America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, and Canada's Got Talent as probably the best male vocal of this decade so far. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> All right, because your rendition of Queens Who Wants to Live Forever gave me the first set of chills this season. So I would lo- I'm a little curious because why decide to perform a song in, in Italian first before switching to English and in, and in intermingling them near the end? Um, it has to go back to my passion for opera music. You know, uh, for me, when I think of opera, I think Italian. And that to me, it just sent, it felt right to start with Italian and then bring the English into the mix and kind of mesh those two together. And especially using like my opera techniques, I thought it would be a good fit to have Italian there. That's wonderful to hear. And I also got to add this because the only time that I remember, like the so far the two best versions in my head of Once Live Forever are my friends Calabro, who did it in Britain's Got Talent Champions back in 2019, and you. So both of both are still the two best bird renditions of the song. Thank you. Could you describe, so what was your reaction like when you saw Cardinal Sibba Food, one of the hardest of the quartet, and then one Trish join, and then how, and then Lily and Howie, and then the entire, and the entire audience stood up for you? I, I have no words. It's, 
it's such a surreal feeling. It's something that I didn't think I was going to feel. So it's so hard to put it into words how amazing that felt. I was like, whoa, <laughs> wow, everyone's standing up right now. This is so hard to process. It's hard to take in. But yeah, all I can say is I'm speechless. I really have no words for how amazing that moment felt. It was a dream come true. All righty, all righty. So we got to talk about when the four yeses, because the four yeses, I think, for any God Talent Act, it means the world to anyone. So what did it mean to say? Because after some, after practicing for years, what did it mean to get those four magical yeses? It meant the absolute world to me, everything. Um, you know, I... I put in all of my time into music. I started out, when I started out, I couldn't sing Happy Birthday. So, I mean, like, this, the work that I put into it and the feedback that I got and what I received from the audience and the judges, the four yeses was just like, whoa, this is an eye-opening moment for me. Like, my hard work is paying off. All righty. So, I want to throw a hypothetical out for you. Okay. So, if you make it past... To if you make it to the, the finale, and Lindsay has the results in her hand and says that you won a million dollar season, what would be your reaction? I I think I would just have a meltdown. <laughs> it would be so many emotions, so overwhelming. Like I don't know, I I can't really say how I would react because I don't know myself how I would react. It's a very in the moment thing. You're like whoa this is huge. A million dollars, like winner of Canada's Got Talent. That would just mean the whole world to me and my reaction. I mean, hopefully if I get there, we'll have to see what it'll be. <laughs> awesome. So one of the second last question I want to ask you yeah. is if you have right now, several people are to have the opportunity to face other judges across Howie in America and also Simon and the others in the UK. And also if you contain people. So if you had the opportunity to meet with your fellow acts who are ready to face the judges and those massive audiences behind them, what advice would you share with them? What advice would I give them? I would say just be yourself. Go out and do what you do best and have fun. Uh, that's what I did. And I loved every second of it. Awesome. So Matthew, last question. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Where can my audience find your music? And also where can they find you on social media? Um, so I have, um, YouTube, um, I have to find the name for that. Um, but I also have TikTok, which is Matthew Cooper 11. Uh, I have Instagram, which is Matthew Cooper, one, two, four, three, six, five, a lot of numbers. <laughs> and yeah. my, uh, YouTube is, I'll pull that up. So hard to find usernames for social media these days, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, my YouTube would be Matthew Cooper 4782. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. Awesome. So, guys, if you miss an episode of the Jake's Take with Jacob Elijah podcast, visit our channels on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, iHeart, Podchaser, Spotify, and Spreaker. Jake's Take with Jacob Elijah, J A C B E L Y A C H A R. Now, are you on social media? I'm on social media too. Facebook, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, and YouTube. Jake's, Jacob L.A. Show, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. And guys, if you want to find out, listen to my podcast with Lindsay, my podcast with Genevieve Cotier, Janique Fournier, and all the incredible candidates that's got talent apps from the from 2022 and 2023, head to jakes Once again, jakes jakescom Matthew, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to talk with me. I want to wish you nothing but your best. But the best on your CGT journey. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be here with you. All righty, guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Till next time. Have a great one, everybody. Goodbye.